Oh man, you guys even have a rail car here? Well, yeah, you know, you gotta have this stuff. I can't even imagine strapping myself and uh, apparently straddling a diff <laughs> behind uh, a drag car like they this. Don't seems, they, don't, they don't ever break. Seems a little sketchy. I'm Chris Forsberg, and this week on Garage Shores, we head out to 1945 Speed and Custom in Troy, New York, where they are building period crack hot rods with a real classic look. Oh man, I just feel like going back in time. Oh. Dude, Jeremy, oh, man. this place is sweet. Oh, thanks, thanks. Oh, I love it, How man. You doing? Great to see you. Well, I gotta say, I'm loving this showroom. I mean, this living room setup is hilarious. It's so period correct to go with all these cars. And uh, I mean, even, even this one, it like matches as well. Why don't you tell me something about Absolutely. this? Absolutely, well, pretty much we try to build like era specific cars, you know what yeah. I mean? Like if it's, you know, a late 40s style hot rod, it's gotta look a certain way. Or if it's like a 60s style hot rod, that's also gotta look a certain way. So pretty much just like a 60s style show car, you know? And that's what we did. So, Very and then, cool. you know, tuck and roll, white tuck and roll, and you know, doing like a white motor and, you know, just do it the way it kind of would have been done in the mid to late 60s. Oh man, you guys even have a rail car here? Well, yeah, you know, you gotta have this stuff. Oh my god, where'd you pick this thing up? I built it. I, really? Yeah, a friend of mine. Oh, dude. A friend of mine's got an original Linwood Welding. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a dragster company. And I just took a bunch of measurements off his car. Basically, just bent some tubing up, and mm -hmm. uh, we kind of had to change it a little bit because we wanted to. We want to be able to run it, so even though it's going to be slower than death, well, you got to make it run. Yeah, well, it still has to have like a. The cage would have been different originally, mm -hmm. um, but that like makes it so it can still pass tech, even though the thing, yeah. you know, might run 11s. It's you don't want to die. Well, it's, you know. Yeah, I can't even imagine strapping myself and uh, apparently straddling a diff <laughs> behind a drag car like they this. Don't, they don't. They don't ever. Break. Seems a little sketchy. Nah, you'll be fine. We'll put you in it. This is, a, this is a big car, it's like a late 40s dirt car, dirt sprint car. Looks pretty small to me. Yeah, back then it was a small <laughs> car or a big car, and this was a big car. It's got a HAL overhead valve conversion. Oh man. Um, so it's, uh, this was, you know, so it's, it's kind of... a whole different aftermarket head? Yeah, yep, so this is like a 32 through 34 Ford four-cylinder engine. Okay. And then this is just a, you know, a, this company HAL made these overhead valve conversions. Their fuel pump is, is you know, a pump. This is, you know, you, you, every couple laps you gotta pump this thing up. <laughs> You know, this is your only brake. That's it. And rear rear brake. So you literally I have one of those. Yeah, it's the same thing, just on the yeah. other side. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, they didn't really, uh, you know, they didn't need brakes. 1927 Ford Model T, uh, flathead V, 47 flathead motor, uh, 39 trans. It's just you know, this is like a real early traditional style hot rod. Everything yeah. about this car is is, you know, an early hot rod. Uh, uh, this truck here. This is my truck. So this is the car that you run in the Race of Gentlemen, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Is, you're one of the organizers? Yeah, this is my car. We're, uh, we're the Oilers Car Club. We, yeah. uh, we put on that race. It's uh, in October it's, uh, in Wildwood, New Jersey. So it's a, basically just drag racing on the sand, and it's so all, cool. all period hot rod stuff. It's all got to be early parts. It's mm -hmm. got to have the right look, the right stance, the right motor, the right transmission, the right everything. You know, this whole kind of culture of service by having that race, because like you said, you have guys building the cars for that race specifically, and not yep. just like something to you know, maybe driving on the weekends or sit in a showroom, it's like, take right. them out and run. My truck does pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's a, it's a, well, it's a 51 flathead V8. Uh, it's a 39 Lincoln transmission, 36 Ford rear end, big cam. It's all ported and, and relieved and everything. So it makes good power and, you know, I do pretty good. What's, what's good power for a 30s hot rod? Maybe 200, <laughs> maybe 200 wheel horsepower. All right. Yeah, which you know, it's fast. Look at the tires. Oh no, I get it, man. <laughs> this thing doesn't weigh much, and it's cruising. And these things are so killer looking. But uh, I gotta see how they come together. Oh, let's take, check out the shop. Let's roll. You can see you guys got a lot going on in here. Yeah, we uh, there's quite a bit. There's some race car stuff. Some yep. Always some race car stuff, 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 right? Yeah, try to, try to do that stuff. That's the fun stuff. This is like the start, you know? These are just some Model A-frames. Gotta start somewhere. Yeah, right? So <laughs> these are just old. This is like, uh, I guess, 28 to 31 frames. And, you know, you kind of start with these and then cut them all apart and do different cross members and, you know, modify them however they need to be modified, nice. uh, depending on the car. So basically from the frames, we're going to move to the body. Mm -hmm. um, this is 1931 Ford Model A Roadster pickup truck. Awesome. This body would just bolt onto that frame cool. and kind of look like what's in the showroom. Well, this one looks a little further along. 
it looks like that, but we're gonna we're kind of taking it all apart and redoing it. Oh, okay. Um, we're just gonna redo some suspension stuff and kind of mm -hmm. make it a little bit more traditional. It's a 32 Ford three window. This is what a hot rod is. This is what everybody wants. They're super duper hard to find. What exactly were you looking at? Um, it's got a four bar on the front. It mm -hmm. was something that was probably done in the 90s or late 80s or whatever. So Maybe we're just- a little better, but- Yeah, it's- Wanna make it, it worse? Yeah, we, obviously. But correct. That's it. So you're changing this from a four bar to a what exactly? Um, just a, like a wishbone style suspension. Mm -hmm. um, the original Ford suspension basically had like a ball mount in the transmission or by the transmission. And then it went forward like a wishbone and it mounted on the front axle. And then there's one leaf spring that goes across the front. So it's, you know, basically making it handle way worse. Oh, geez. Well, that's cool, man. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, can't help but notice this whole thing. Well, that's my drift car. Yeah, it sure is. It's, uh, it's how we met, right? Yeah, sort of. it, it sort of is. Yeah, we kind of met before this thing existed, but uh, yeah, old E-Town brings everyone together. That's right. Yeah, basically, I, I saw you guys having so much fun at E-Town, I had to build a drift car for myself. It's yeah. a quickie build, but it does the job. Hey, man, yeah, you got to get the job done, get out there and have a good time. We, we've been missing you, though, but... Um, it's, been, it's been a while. I've been busy with, old, with you know, antique cars. Yeah. You know, we don't just do 40s hot rods, mm -hmm. you know, and I mean, this is 69 Camaro. 396 big block, numbers matching car, it's a full restoration, it's quarters, floors, trunk pan, inner and outer wheelhouse. It's pretty much all the sheet metal's been replaced in this car. We do the paint in-house. What do you do, drop curtains and paint them right here in the bay? Nope, I had a booth in the back. Really? Yep. Nice. Yeah, you weren't kidding, you got a full booth back here. Yep, it gets the job done. Yeah, I mean, when you're doing full car builds like that, I mean, having your own paint booth is, you know, priceless. Oh God, I was sending stuff out and waiting for it to come back. So yeah. I hired the best painter around and there you go. Now I got a paint booth and a and good this painter. This one looks like it just came out? Yeah, yep. This car is just getting final assembly. It's a 79 Camaro. We did like a 70 front end and rear end on. It's all ride tech. Yeah. Four link in the rear and uh, tubular up and lower control arms, Fox shocks. Looks so. pretty gnarly. Yeah, things should uh, should handle pretty good. Well, Jeremy, I gotta say, you guys are really killing it up here. You got styles for miles in these old classics and uh, the race of gentlemen sounds Super cool, and I got to get out to the next one. Yeah, man. But uh, until then, I'll take one of these things for a ride. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. I've been hanging out and driving with Jeremy for years, but it was great to see his true passion, and that's building awesome hot rods. We'll see you next time on Garage Tours.